I'll start with a quotation by our former president, Dr. Kalam, who said in his vision document that by 2020, India will be leading producer of castings. In fact, it happened by 2010 itself. Uh, last year, we um, uh, crossed USA to become number two producer of castings after China. So already we are 10 years before we have achieved that. But he also says that we have to look at better quality in terms of dimension control, you know, better capability, better value addition, higher automation. And he also says in his own book that we have to use CAD for achieving all these things. So in this uh, part, what I'll do is, so in this part, we will look at um, quick definitions because we need to be agreeing on the language. When I say casting, you know, you should know what I mean by casting. So we'll define the basic terms involved in terms of pouring or type of mold and we'll also look at what makes casting special, okay? Now this is fundamental and uh, I'm very happy to take a picture of our own foundries to explain some of our concepts. And uh, all we're doing is we're creating a cavity, pouring metal into that, letting it solidify and taking the part out of that. It's a very, um, we can say friendly process to get very complicated shapes. You can't imagine doing that by machinery. Now, when I say casting, unfortunately, it is both a noun as well as a verb. Casting refers to the process as well as the product of the process. Okay, so to, conf to avoid the confusion, we will say designed part for what the OEM wants. We will say casting to refer to the entire thing, including gates and runners and risers, what is removed from the mold cavity. We will say as cast part after remove the runners and gating. And finally, we say machined part, which is ideally should be same as your original design part. So these are the four terms we are going to use. And these are four steps in the casting process, okay? Now, of course, casting, anything which can be molt, melted can be cast, you know that. And we have all the way from super alloys and let's say titanium-based alloys, nickel-based alloys, almost 1500, 1700 to almost touching 2000 degrees to mostly irons, and copper alloys above 1,000, and to below 1,000 degrees, you have aluminum and zinc alloys and so on. So this is a wide range of metals that can be melted and cast, we know that. And we can also produce the mold in which you pour the metal. The mold can be either expendable, which means you need a separate mold for every casting, or you can have a permanent mold, in which case the same mold can produce a large number of castings, thousands to ten thousands and more than that, okay? And the mold can be filled under either gravity or pressure, low or high, or vacuum. That is one side. On the other side, the mold itself can be either room temperature or ambient temperature or as hot as metal, as in case of investment casting. So we have a variety of fundamental ways by which you can produce the castings. Now what is good about casting is any part, okay, with varying wall thickness, imagine these things, holes which are not straight, complicated, intricate holes, okay, and metals which are difficult to machine but easy to melt and pour, these are definitely made by castings. On, a, on top of that, any metal, any size or weight, from few grams to several tons, and any order quantity from one to thousands, casting is the answer for that. This picture which you see is a drag racing engine, the racing car engine. It is made by machining only, and this costs more than $50,000. The same thing we made by casting, not the same engine, but let's say engine made in most of our commercial vehicles cost less than $1,000, maybe half of that. So look at the difference between machining and casting. Life will not be same if we have to make every part of machining, or it won't be same if, you have, if casting is not there. So that is the beauty of this process and it's going to remain for quite some time, okay? And um, so this is just to summarize, we have, we have looked at what is casting, the definitions, and the type of molds, the type of filling, and the point that casting is, is what gives you that significant cost benefit compared to machining.